be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as like and comment on the video. Definitely helps out the channel. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. What I wanted to cover is a problem that we've been having in Logic Pro 10. I've actually had someone reach out to me personally about this problem, and I just found a solution for it, okay? And the problem is basically how to eliminate clipping on your beats or even your songs in Logic Pro 10 without taking away the punchiness of your beat or your song, without taking away um, the overall extra knock that you should be getting in your beats. So like for instance, have you ever been mixing your music or playing your music and it's, it's knocks just the way it is, but then when you try to get it from clipping, it just all of a sudden just sounds a little less punchier, it sounds weak. Well, this is what you're going to want to do. First off, I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's an actual plugin that you're going to put on here. Um, so if you don't have this plugin, you definitely want to invest in it. It's not that much. Um, but I'm going to show you the traditional way to take away the clipping and everything on your uh, on your beats. So first, I'm going to play you the beat. If you're new to the channel, you can hear the beat. And then I'm going to put the plugins that we normally would put on there. And I'm going to show you the difference. And then I'm going to show you the plugin that you should put on there. And I'm hopefully going to do it in just in the next few minutes, okay? So you're not going to watch a whole long video on this. Um, but let's just go listen to, to the beat. All right, so basically you can hear the beat is knocking, but... When you look at this stereo out, there's a whole lot of extra clipping. So what's the traditional thing that we do, right? We go over here and we take Ozone 9 or Ozone, an Ozone plug-in, um, and we put it on the stereo out, hoping that this is going to you know, fix our problem. Just to find out that it's going to make it loud, but the actual knock that you're looking for, it's going to take that away a little bit for whatever reason. So let's just go ahead and test this out. We'll just take this down some, maybe to um, 0 0.05, and we'll just go ahead and play it. And you're going to see this go away, but the knock is not going to be there as much. Let's play it. So it sounds dope, but the knock is a little bit, has been diminished just a little bit. Um, if you really listen to the first one, don't pay attention to the actual meter right here, just listen. You're gonna see that you can hear that kick drum punching through the mix a whole lot more. Especially at the end where it did that little um, kick roll. So I'll just play it like right there. And then put this one on, you'll see the difference. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to listen to it, but trust me, y'all, this is the solution, okay? So instead of doing an Ozone 9 plug-in or even using an adaptive limiter, what you're gonna do instead take this off is use a plugin called smack attack and actually put that on the stereo out now I haven't seen any videos about this yet but so this is probably gonna be the first one but put that smack attack on the stereo out all right and what you're gonna want to do is go down here to the bottom right of the plugin where it says guard and his turn clip on okay don't touch anything else you don't need to do anything else to this but just put that on your stereo out and see what happens Still have the knock there, the beat still hitting hard and banging, but the clipping has been removed. All right, and this is the only plugin that I've seen that you, if we not put it on the stereo out, it doesn't affect the um, individual, 
the clipping of the, uh, or excuse me, the knocking of the of the track. Okay, um, you could also put this Smack Attack plugin and put clip on on your individual tracks as well, and it will do the same thing. So on this kick, right, you can see already that it's clipping some. Well, it's not clipping on this one because I actually this is this these sounds are actually coming from my next level drum pack, which is already being you know mastered and everything like that. Make sure you grab that next level drum pack beatmakingbasis.com. But you get the point. You can put it on different instrument tracks and it will pretty much do the same difference. I would just recommend putting it on the stereo out though. Just mix it as you feel. You know, crank it, crank it up, make it knock and everything like that. Throw that plug in on there and you're gonna see a difference in you know how your beat sound is still gonna bang or whatever just make sure it's not um distorting you feel me because it's not going to cover up distortion but it will knock away the clip and uh well, excuse me take away the clipping plus allow your beats to still knock anyway y'all that is a golden tip right there if this tip helps you out okay make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video and if you want to go the extra step go grab my next level drum pack uh, or drum kit you know or my blue fire melody kit which is fire or my logic pro 10 course or my beat making course for beginners all on my website you know what i'm saying it's going to help you out it has like little tips and tricks and stuff like that like this in the courses and then also the, the that next level drum pack is fire i'll put that kit up against you know anybody's kit you know what i mean it's i'm telling you it's going to change the way your beat sound actually this beat was made with that next level drum kit um but anyway y'all i'm out thank you so much for watching see you in the next video